Hi guys, this is Pam. What I wanted to talk to you today is about prioritizing your time. If you're working from home, if you don't have your schedule down pat, if you haven't figured out what works best for you, especially if you have younger kids at the house, it's going to be kind of hard. And I say that from experience because I have a, well, he's three months old today, a two-year-old, a nine-year-old, and a 16-year-old. Well, my two oldest kids don't really give me too much problem, except for my nine-year-old. When he sees that I'm recording, he likes to come in and like run and zip behind the camera and stuff. And then you see these flashes flashing behind me, so I have to re-record my videos. And then I, I really have to re-record them because you hear me hollering, Stay from behind my camera! Stop! Stay over there, or you know, or making little hand gestures that you guys can't see me doing on the video. Sometimes I just have to re record them because I can't post that up there. It's just too, it's too unprofessional, so to speak. But I mean, I guess I should really post them to let you guys see that I'm human and I do have a real household with real kids that do stuff that real kids do. Um, yeah, the camera hogs like to get on the camera and geez, so I really recommend that you work on getting your schedule down because you may find a lot of your time being wasted doing non-essential stuff. And when you, when you get that down, you get it down, well, it may take some time, especially if you have little kids because sometimes the schedules that you set for them don't always work out as planned. Um, and you have to kind of go with the flow, so to speak, and kind of adjust your schedule as you go because they may not take a nap at the time you put them down for a nap. Or if they do take a nap, they only sleep for 10 minutes and then you really weren't able to get anything done because you're, whoo, they're down for a nap. Let me get myself together, go ahead and get some work done. By the time you get done doing your little ritual exercise, like you're about to warm up for a boxing match, the baby done woke up and it's like, ugh. You know, so now it's kind of thrown off a little bit, have to adjust the time, put him back to sleep. And if he doesn't want to go back to sleep, hey, you know, we got, I got, got to kind of move the time along, you know. So I try to stick to a schedule as much as possible. And believe you me, it, it takes a while to really get it down. Um, sometimes it's just hard, you know. So you, you're going to go through those phases for a little while unless you really got your time down to a science before you start working from home. Then you should move really virtually no interruptions whatsoever in your schedule, you know. But if you're going to work from home and be serious about it and be consistent with your business, you have to do those things that are actually making you money. Like if you need to market, market. Do it on a daily basis. If you're blogging, blog do it on a daily basis don't miss it for anything um so that's pretty much it just be wise about your time make sure you get it set out as best as possible and try not to deviate from it whatsoever but if you have smaller kids we understand i understand um you just kind of you got to kind of make it work for you the best way you can but other than that, have fun with your business. Enjoy life. Sometimes take a break. Schedule in some fun. Don't be serious all the time. Take your kids to the park. Go get some fresh air. You know? Well, until tomorrow. See ya.